Bates University's public announcement today, which will be led by Professor Lee Berger and his team of scientists, is truly groundbreaking. It confirms South Africa's Bates University as the leading global center of excellence in paleo scientific research, featuring in the top five best centers of excellence in the, in the globe. A research-intensive university like this thrives on its ability to make scientific discoveries. But goes so far as saying scientific discoveries are the heart and soul of a research-intensive research university. The kinds of discoveries we're making is about who we are as a species, how we've evolved, how we're thinking through, how we've emerged and how we've evolved, but how we continuously will evolve. And how ultimately, you know, I think it was Tobias who said, the real significance, the real true political significance of this research is that it shows we belong to a common humanity. Omanaledi very quickly became a very well-known species, perhaps the best-known species of early home they'd ever discovered, simply because we had so much. I would remind you that we had at that time from uh, fetal-aged individuals to the elderly, something like 15 individuals that we've recovered from that chamber. And it's important to note that there are potentially thousands and thousands of remains still inside of that chamber. Of course, the critical issue at the time was, how old was Homo naledi? I am pleased to tell you that we can tell you the age of Homo naledi from the Dinaledi chamber through a extraordinary uh, a cooperative endeavor done by geochronologists across the world, of which Professor Paul Dirks will tell you in just a moment the details of, we can tell you that Homo naledi is 236,000 to 335,000 years before present. Now what we ended up doing was we combined the various assumptions that we had to make in two different scenarios. We, take, we took a maximum age scenario, which so we combined all the different variables in such a way that we knew it would give us a maximum age for the fossil. And we uh, came up with a minimum age scenario, which we knew when we combined these various components would give us the minimum age for the fossil. And then the true age of the fossils has to be somewhere between the minimum and the maximum age scenarios. What I have to announce to you today is the discovery of, of a partial skeleton of Homo naledi that is extraordinary. And, and most of the 131 hominid specimens from this chamber can be attributed to that skeleton. However, we additionally have a couple of other, other individuals represented in the chamber, which, which you'll see parts of. Um, this by itself is one of the most significant discoveries ever made in the cradle of humankind area and in the continent of Africa. Um, in combination with the Dinaledi chamber uh, and its enormous array of hominid remains, it constitutes what is now the best understood sample of hominids in our evolutionary history outside of Neanderthals and, and, uh, and modern humans. What Mayo gives us for the first time is the ability to look into the face of Homo naledi. Uh, those very fragile bones of the face are one of the parts of the skeleton that is very poorly preserved in what we have to date from the Dinaledi chamber. Um, it left some gaps in our understanding of, of these hominid remains, which, which cover almost every part of the skeleton. Nail fills in those gaps. We have preserved the incredibly fragile nasal bones, the bones of the inner eye orbit, the, the fragile tear ducts, the very thin bones of the face, and for the first time, we can, we can see what the face of this species really looked like. Modern humans, or our immediate ancestors, were here on this continent, probably in the sub-equatorial parts of this continent, at the same time that Homo naledi existed. The final thing I'd like to say is that we're actually going to share these with the people of South Africa in a very real way, and the people of the world. These fossils will be going on display here at Maripang on May the 25th. Not just the new fossils from the Lissetti chamber, but the entire collection of Homo naledi from the rising star system. That will be the largest fossil hominid display ever to be put forward to the public to see originals in history. We're very proud of that and hope you come back and join us to see that.